What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Major 7 voicing. <laughs> Today's video is all about what I call this Jerry Garcia descending E major scale pattern of four. It's quite a mouthful, that saying. But it's just a major scale descending in fours. Grouping is a four. And we'll check it out in the context of Eyes of the World, kind of like this vibe from 32788. And let's check out that lick and how we can put it into our own soloing ideas. So let's go. So like you just saw, that is our E major scale descending in a pattern of four. And if you notice, we're just combining two or three areas of the E major scale. You want to resolve it, something like that. So now that we have our basis, right, our E major scale locations, let's dive really into how the pattern of four is made. So Garcia, he was a master at these patterns, right? Whether it was climbing up, ascending in a pattern of four, or descending, He knew when to do it, how to do it, the definition of the notes, the accents, just wonderful, masterful playing, which for me personally is the ultimate goal, is really mastering the instrument and the craft. So what is this descending pattern of four, right? Like mentioned in the previous scene, we are just combining two or three positions of the E major scale, right? E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. And the fun part of how it kind of all works together is your starting point. The starting point on this case, not the root, but the ninth degree, this F sharp 14th fret of the high E string, right? So almost, I would say, first practice maneuvering this scale from the ninth degree to land on the, the seventh fret of the A string, right? So you get your outline. So once you have that, then you could say, what is this pattern of four? And all it is, is just you're descending in a group of four notes, right? So check this out. If we're starting from this F sharp, one, two, three, four, to the C sharp, same pattern now starting from the E. One, two, three, four, to that B. Then from the D sharp. One, two, three, four. And right there is our first adjustment. As opposed to going to this A, 14th fret of the G string, we're doing 
A, 10th fret of the B string, right? Then you do C sharp, B, A, G sharp, one, two, three, four. From the B, one, two, three, four. From the A, one, two, three, four. From the F sharp, one, two, three, four. And then start again from the root. That makes sense. Right? One thing I want to mention before moving on is make sure, like I'm doing now, your reverb is at the most minimum. Because exercises like these, you really want to focus on your picking hand, right? Your right hand or your lefty, right? So there's no excess noise, right? I already messed up there, excess noise. Right? So that's really one octave descending pattern of four of E major scale. Right? And then you're just going to descend one more octave. Two, three. practice this slow and steady always wins the race like i highly encourage in every video there is literally no rush in trying to master this right the slower you do it the more accurate you'll do with your right hand the less noise and then you can add in the reverb if that makes sense One more time, let's do it really slowly. Cool, right? So now, if we add in the reverb after we practice that for a good amount of time, it sounds pretty cool. And in the context of a song like Eyes of the World, where you're sliding in from like an E major 7 chord. Awesome. So that's descending pattern of four. Let's do a quick checkout at ascending, climbing up using pattern of four. So check this out. So the ascending pattern of four is the exact same concept as descending, right? Where we climb up four notes from the root. One, two, three, four. Then from the second degree. One, two, three, four. Third degree. 
one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Get to our root. And right here is where I switch and go for my index finger. Right? Now, I know these two concepts aren't life-changing, right? But they all come from fundamentals and knowing your major scale, knowing how to combine these different positions out the major scale in a way that is kind of musical, but you can apply to songs like Eyes of the World, China Cat, uh, Bertha when climbing up to certain parts, Scarlet Fire, right? These techniques, whether descending in pattern of four, or ascending in pattern of four, are two techniques that, when practiced really properly, would be priceless in your soloing over Grateful Dead tunes. So now, let's see it all in context. There's our E major 7, B minor, A major. Check this out. Right? Patterns of four. Pretty cool, hey? Well, all right, guys, that is today's video on the Garcia descending pattern of four in E major. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, Please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.